Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. Okay, so I'm Madam Iman here to help you with your mat. Now today I'd like to share um, a second part, part two. So um, in one of uh, my past videos, we talked about um, uh, Pukasilapan Ramai Chalun Mwet. Okay, so I'd like to continue part two. So part one, we talked about how how many uh, muat uh, candidates um, kesilapan muat candidate yang tak prepare mengikut masanya okay so contoh yang ordinary normal normal calon yang normal dia akan buat preparation tau dia akan buat persediaan okay buat ambil buku kan ada buku muat kat sini ada apa tu contoh ambil buku ni eh. okay so for example Ah, okay, so I have a book here. Okay, so contoh um, ada buku. Okay, and then buat preparation kan. And prepare, punya prepare. Um, meaning buka latihan kan. Got the practice part, and then just do it without any, you know, any direction. Alright. Okay, so it kesilapan itu kesilapan. And the right way is to actually do the practice dengan ada timer, pakai timer. Okay, so that was my the. Uh, what we talked about in the first video. So part two here, I'd like to talk about kesilapan kedua yang ramai calon muat um, buat adalah berkenaan dengan content, okay, ideas. So contoh, contoh eh. Dulu Madam tak tahu tau, okay. Dulu I did not know this. Oh, I did not know uh, because I myself had to sit for the IELTS scan. And IELTS ni, um, tak kisah dah IELTS ke muat ke uh, Level uh, for English teachers We have to reach C1 level uh, Band 5 kan However, I was not sure Of the kind of uh, level of writing I was supposed to do uh, I was supposed to write Alright, so here if you are targeting Band 4, if you are targeting Band 5 Alright, make sure The ideas that you write Okay, of course grammar kena betul Okay, grammar betul um, spelling kena betul Okay so For band 4, band 5 Especially those Who macam memang perlu sangat band 5 ni Okay um, Of course uh, Other than grammar Other than language Is the maturity of ideas And so Ramai tanya madam Macam mana kita nak uh, Menulis Okay menulis den Dengan level band 5 Okay so level band 5 ni Alright is you have to make sure you make, bila you prepare you prepare untuk memahami konsep-konsep uh, dan bersedia untuk menulis dengan idea yang globally relevant okay apa maksud madam globally relevant okay contohnya kalau ada essay okay essay eh? um task to practice uh, sorry task to paper alright task to paper um where the question is um something about the environment all right perhaps natural disasters kan okay bencana bencana apa natural disaster <laughs> okay bencana alam ah bencana alam all right so if, for example if the theme is environment and um the topic is about bencana alam all right what do you have to write about yang uh yang menjadikan ia mature idea okay so for example uh, if it talks about, um, uh, for example, you talk want to talk about flats, uh, okay, flats. So, Madam suka bagi contoh ni dalam kelas sebab sangat mudah nak faham. Alright, so kalau level band 3, you akan cakap macam mana banjirnya, banjirnya berlaku dalam Malaysia. Okay, apa yang berlaku macam ni. So, level band 3 adalah you mampu menulis perkenaan sekitar you. Okay, band 3. And then band 4, Okay, band 3, band 4 lah, band 4. Uh, band 4, you're, uh, sorry, band 3, you're, you're able to write about you. Band 4, are about, uh, around you. Okay, apa yang berlaku di sekeliling. Okay, Malaysia, macam sini kan, banjir. Now, band 5, you would have to be able to give examples of um, to the flooding. Okay, what, what other countries... Uh, are facing about um, regarding floods okay so if the essay is talking about um, uh, measures that are taken by countries okay measures that should be taken 
uh, when uh, uh, during a natural disaster. Okay, so uh, a normal student will write. Okay, so for example, um, uh, if we um, if we uh, to make sure that we are ready to face a flood. Okay, a flash flood. We have to make sure that we are alert. We are alert with um, with uh, the country's. Um, um, warnings, okay, on TV, okay, so benda tu kita bercakap pasal sekeliling kita, alright, so that one's are band 3, band 4. Now, if you want to go to band 5 level of ideas, maturity, you're able to talk about, for example, when we talk about uh, natural disaster prevention or, you know, awareness, uh, we can see countries such as Japan, who has ad made advancements in the um, natural disaster prevention. Uh, for example, they have developed a, a um, state-of-the-art uh, underground tunnel, all right, so uh, which is able to cater uh, 30 tons of water uh, at one flood time, for example, okay? All right, so that's what I mean by uh, the content. So, kesilapan calon muat adalah prepare untuk menulis sahaja, tetapi tak tak prepare untuk menyediakan content mengikut level yang dia target. Okay. So, okay. So, band 3, band 4, Madam Percaya, you all memang dah sampai tahap tu. Alright. If you are able to go to uh, masuk form 6, masuk apa, form, apa, uh, sorry, form 6 or or pre-university or matriculation or diploma by right, you should be for five, uh, sorry, uh, band three and four should not be a problem for you. However, band five, memang you're going to strive sikit, okay, strive sikit if you're not a, a regular writer, okay, for 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 candidates, okay, contoh calon-calon yang memang dah ada blog in English or hari-hari menulis dan bahasa Inggeris kat, dekat um, social media, dekat Twitter, these kind of these kind of um, candidates, okay, types of candidates, memang tak ada masalah untuk band 5. Hello there. Okay, so, so Arifuddin, Waalaikumsalam tula. Okay, thank you for joining. Okay, so thank you, Ms., uh, Mr. Arif, and thank you everyone for joining me today. Okay, so itu antara kesilapan, kesilapan, uh, calon muat di mana um, uh, calon prepare for grammar and vocab sahaja tetapi tak prepare diri sendiri untuk menyediakan konten mengikut level tu ok lagi-lagi band 5 so ramai student uh, student madam baru-baru ni for the results dapat 4.5 ada yang target band, band 5 semua and um, uh, dan um, mereka um, sikit lagi nak, nak capai tu dekat writing uh, writing and speaking so the same goes for speaking test eh? mood speaking test mood writing test content level band 5 tu the maturity tu memang uh, you have to you know work for it uh, you have to work for it a bit okay if you are not uh, an avid writer so like untuk, untuk madam sendiri where well, I'm not, I don't write um, heavy posts every single day or I'm not a uh, book editor girl. Okay, so for me, myself, I would have to read, all right, read and all these things. Okay, so if any questions here about our topic today, if there are any questions, you can just hit them down here, here. All right. Okay, so if there are any questions, um, I wish you all the best and hopefully you will not make this mistake. Okay, so I'm but I'm treating this by you that what mistake yang sama. Alright, you that what mistake yang sama seperti mana um, students, certain students madam buat and madam sendiri buat now. Okay, so all the best. Okay, all the best to all of you, um, especially those of who are preparing for MWET, MWET session 1, 2023 and MOD. Alright, so uh, tomorrow night, if you if you need help, okay, I am uh, will be conducting a class, okay, free class for everyone, anyone who wants to know about the MWET, who will be taking the MWET this year, maybe next year, or in some time in the future, maybe you are teaching and, and you just, you know, you just want to know some strategies that maybe you could use in your classroom, okay, so please join me tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Uh, the 
18th. So this is 17th, right? So 18th January. Okay, so for inf for the information, you may register for free for our class in Zoom, okay? Um, in via my Telegram channel, Mwet with Madam Iman. Just search Mwet with Madam Iman on Telegram. Okay, we have a question here before we end the session. Okay, Iman Daniel, so I can Madam with the writing part to much money, not that who? Essay to discursive ke argumentative sebab saya tengok pasti semua tanya express your opinion. So saya fikir essay tu discursive essay. Yes, betul Iman Daniel. Now uh, if you uh, refer books like this eh, macam buku ni. Okay, buku ni um, what test focus um, they, they tell you how to macam mana nak kenal tau. Macam nak kenal uh, these kind of essays. So discursive argumentative kalau ikut cara menulis Argumentative and discursive ni sama Meaning discursive ni macam argumentative Almost the same However, the only beza dia Kalau um, nak tengok dia punya beza dia adalah di uh, Di thesis statement Okay, thesis statement So yang ni Madam madam um, explain secara detail In our writing class nanti Alright, uh, video Madam ada I have a video uh, on YouTube here Madam cerita secara detail discursive and argumentative tu macam mana tapi basically untuk menjawab soalan Iman Daniel pada hari ini alright discursive and argumentative they are similar where you have to or based on NPM expectations you are you have to show your your opinion, your your stand okay, towards the the statement given okay, okay, okay. <laughs> alright, kacik kata eh alright, so um, uh, however uh, kalau, okay, kalau dia sebut express your opinion by right, itu adalah discursive. And memang past papers stuck at this current format, okay, since 2021, memang MPM keluarkan discursive essay. Discursive essay. Every session and untuk MOD pun stuck at Madam tengok memang discursive, okay, sejak 2021. Uh, Alright, so tetapi untuk 2023 kita tak tahu kan sama ada uh, akan keluar argumentative ke from solution ke so just prepare for all the types of essays okay Iman Daniel I wish you the best okay for your MWET or your MOD um, so it shows that you have you have started your preparation because you are able to come up with um, a question like this okay so please follow uh, you can check my channel okay my MWET, my channel MWET with Madam Iman channel alright um I do have notes there. Uh, notes there um, berkenaan dengan discussion dan argumentative. Okay, Madam buat comparison. Perbandingan ada, ada nota tu, notes Madam uh, Madam buat table macam mana nak kenal um, discursive, argumentative dengan uh, problem solution. Okay, so boleh tengok dalam tu. Okay, so thank you for your question Iman Daniel and thank you everyone for joining me today. Take care. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.